Good morning, Aquarians. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you guys are having a relaxing and lovely weekend. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the main deck. I have Dreamscape Tarot for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. So I have a judgment and then you, King of Swords Reverse, the energy coming in. So a judgment is something new is ready to begin it could be in the courts too and that's really good news that something's coming like a, a, a big uh something you've been fighting for is coming to an end and i do feel let's see what's below the judgment seven of wands reverse you got the sun the page of wands um yeah it just judgment is like when you know it's like you just can't go back to you can't go back to pretending otherwise um if in for some of you, if that is a job situation, it's just knowing a change needs to happen. But if this is a relationship, you got a judgment and a king of swords reverse. King of swords reverse is not sure, not sure of themselves. Not really, it's like overanalyzing. Usually maybe you're really confident in something and somebody's kind of thrown you off because maybe that's below the king of swords. Yeah, nine of cups reverse and the three of wands. Could be waiting for somebody to really reveal how they feel and you know the more you're waiting the more you could be worried about that let's see what's going on and of course aquarius this could be about you too this could be how somebody feels towards you all right sun moon rising venus aquarius if you are an aquarius know an aquarius feel like being an aquarius aquarians i'm glad you're here you could be an aquarius and this resonates you could be dealing with an aquarius it could resonate as the main story and aquarius can be the cross watcher this reading could be about an aquarius or for an aquarius take it as it resonates Collect the messages for the Aquarians. All right. What is the story that, okay, Aquarius, that was quick. You got the four of cups reverse. No longer waiting for a cup. This could be a, uh, when it's upright, it's a board, it's apathy. But when it's four cups reverse, it feels like somebody is pulling you into the no. Um, you got the wheel of fortune over here. Let's see, what's influencing the four cups reverse? Cancer energy. What's influencing the Four of Cups reverse? It is the Nine of Swords reverse. See, that's, I do feel like some of you are worried about it. Some of you, and I can't help to feel, it could be, a, like I said, a court case that's coming to an end and you're just like, when is this finally going to be tied up? Is it going to go in my favor? Some of you, this is about waiting to hear for a job. Some of you, this is waiting to hear from somebody else about a relationship. Either way, I feel like you get the news you've been waiting for. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading for Aquarians? The Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like, okay, so Tens and Tarot talk about a cycle coming to an end. Now, Sagittarius season is coming up here fast. And I feel like it could even be in Sagittarius season where you have something new ready to begin. But Ten of Wands is this final push through. Almost there, I can't give up now. This is something I really want. What's in the past? The Empress. Why do I feel like that is somebody else? What is on your mind, Aquarius? What is on your mind? The, yeah, Four of Pentacles reverse. So this King of Swords reverse is an overthinking, not really sure. You know why? Because you want something so bad. Four of Pentacles is, this is all I can concentrate on. I'm, he's holding so tight to these Four of Pentacles. He's focused. He's staring down. He's not looking up. He's not looking around. And it just feels like you, this is just where the thought process is. But on your mind is flexibility. So you have two fours on top of each other reverse. So fours and tarot talk about where we find our stability. And I feel like for some of you, you're leaving an old cycle behind of maybe being single, an old cycle behind of really needing money, you know, being in debt, because I do, I, that judgment is a very powerful card. So four pentacles reverse and the four cups reverse is saying, you don't have to worry so much about obtaining something because it's finally in. And now something is ready to begin. You got the page of wands and the queen of wands. It could be within yourself. It could be with with somebody else. What's in the near future? Yeah, five of pentacles reverse. So I'm telling you, I do feel a lot of money here for some of you Aquarians. This is a really good money read if that's why you're watching this. What's in the near future for Aquarius? Look at that, knight of wands, 
you got the Knight of Swords reverse. So you know what popped in my head? F you money. You guys know that terminology? Some of you have some real serious money coming in. You got four cups reverse, which is, is it, it just feels like somebody's by your side. Somebody's there for you. Um, four cups is a two and a three of cups when it's reversed. You have a four of pentacles reverse. Finally, a letting go of something you've been holding onto. And, and it's been a struggle. It's been a burden for you. And the burden is finally over. Five of Pentacles reverse is getting your groove back, but it is a lot more money in your pocket. Knight of Swords reverse. These are excellent cards of being reversed. And I know people watch this and they're like, I don't like reversals. Well, these aren't cards you want upright. Let me tell you, you wouldn't want a Knight of Swords upright or a Four of Cups upright or a Five of Pentacles upright. Even a Knight of Swords upright is, is very chaotic. Even a Four of Pentacles upright is stubbornness, but it's it's holding on to what you feel like you're, you can only get and not going after what it is you want kind of energy. So I do feel this with all of this. I feel like you're moving into a new cycle of love and of acceptance of being included. Um, and it just feels like you have either one person who really believes in you and who really loves you by your side, or this is within yourself and you guys are finally able to leave a very difficult situation behind. So I love that. All right, look at the death card showed itself here, which is an, a big transition is coming to an end. But I feel like it's of struggle, of struggle and strife and ready for the better things in life, Aquarius. All right, what's the four cups reverse? Center of the reading. Four cups reverse, cancer energy. It is the four of pentacles upright. I got another four. This is four pentacles in the four of cups reverse. It just feels like somebody wants something so bad, something to be over because you got a 10 of wands, something new to begin. Um, but you, it, but it, there is a powerless feeling here. Like it's not in your hands. It's either in a court's hands. It's in somebody else's hands. It's in waiting to hear for a job. And then let's see, what's the nine of swords reverse? Cause I love you have both these Gemini energies being reversed. Nine of swords reverse is feeling a relief, a major relief coming in. What's the nine of swords reverse? Okay. This flew out. And get ready, get ready, get ready. You got a nine of pentacles. Look, I told you there's money. And interesting enough, the nine of pentacles is the minor arcana card of the empress card. And you got the major and the minor next to each other. You got what you've been really struggling with and worried about. It's coming to an end with a knight of swords reversed. There's clarity on its way. There's the sun energy on its way. Um, what's this 10 of wands, but nine of pentacles is a lot of stability. It's happiness, feeling secure in your surroundings, in your job, in your bank account, in love, in yourself. What's the 10 of wands reason for the reading? Sagittarius, what's the 10 of wands? Justice, five of wands reverse and the star reverse. That all applies. I think you're waiting on hearing, oh, as I say that below it is a three of wands. Three of wands and a two of wands reverse is waiting on a decision. Speci very, very specific. Three of wands is waiting for a specific message to come in, a ship to come, come in. And a two of wands reverse feels like it's in somebody else's hands. Now over here, you got the five of wands reverse and the star reverse you don't have to be in this energy alone anymore because I feel like the struggle is coming to an end. I really feel like somebody was just struggling and, and not everybody it's going to be in love. Some of you Aquarians, this is specifically around your money and some of you, this is specifically around love, but yeah, that's what I feel like you guys just never gave up hope that this was coming your way here. What is the Empress energy in the past? Thank you. Ace of Cups reverse and the Ten of Swords. Something, something ended. Ace of Cups reverse and the Ten of Swords. Gemini. You put this, look at this. Gemini, Gemini, and Gemini. Past, present, future. Something triggered you. You got your belief in yourself back. You pulled yourself back from heartache. I feel like somebody literally broke your heart because maybe you really had a lot of trust in them. When a Ten of Swords is upright, that is final. That You have you have two nines and two tens. So, and then the death card showed itself. There is a lot 
of transitioning happening in this reading for an Aquarius. I feel like you've learned a lot. You've grown a lot. This, I don't know how past this is for you. If this was just a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, or 10, 10 years ago, someone broke your heart for the last time. And the Empress energy is what became of it. You know, like a piece of coal under pressure, when it's pressurized enough, it reveals the, the, the beauty and the value inside. This was what is always underneath you as the Empress. And, but I feel like something just really squeezed the shit out of you to create this beautiful image that you always wanted. Like some of you, like you always knew deep down inside that was you, but it was piled under so much stress or uh, relationship problems and not enough people who believe in you. And I feel like all of this energy is chipping away, chipping away, chipping away to reveal what has always been underneath. So now you can be that person. Now you can have that life. So, okay, four of pentacles reverse on your mind. Why the four of pentacles reverse on your mind? Two of pentacles, both Capricorn. I am really getting a strong feeling Sagittarius season is going to be really good to you. Capricorn season coming after that is really going to see where you're going to see the results. Four of pentacles reverse is finally letting something go. Two of pentacles is going with the flow. It's saying, you know what? it's it's a relief some type of relief came a relationship began a new job began you got a judgment from the courts whatever it is that you've been waiting for the ship is now coming in and some of you it's got some really amazing cargo take that as it resonates five of pentacles reverse knight of swords reverse in the near future five of pentacles reverse in the knight of swords reverse in the near future and the hanged woman piscean energy this the majors on this are beautiful because this is about self-awareness, about knowing what it is you want. It's about moving forward in life with intention and consciously creating the life you really want. I feel like you, and look at what's showing itself, bottom of the deck. You got the nine of wands and then the empress again. So it's just in a very powerful time in your life. I really feel like a, a huge ending's coming and it could be of singlehood. It could be of strife. It could be stress around your money. And I just feel like you could finally have the support to really have the life you really desire. And for some of you, it's it's having that person by your side. What? Give me one more card with the hanged woman, Piscean energy. What's the hanged woman here? What's the hanged woman? And the eight, there it is. See, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody didn't believe in you back here. Ace of Cups reverse. And it stung. It hurt. But it caused you to do such a massive change. And now something real is really starting to begin here. I would bet my neighbor's house, Aquarius, this is Sagittarius season is when you're going to get word. When something is really going to take hold. In Capricorn season, you're going to be like, Phew, this feels amazing. So I feel like 2025 is going to start off with a bang for you guys. I mean, it's going to be pretty good. All right, guys, have a great weekend and I'll see you Aquarians soon. Take care.